Goedemorgen, dat is Pasi. Goedemorgen, Jamie. Goedemorgen, dokter Jesse. Goedemorgen, Mary. Morning, Sammy. Goedemorgen, Miss Sammy. Je leek mooi vandaag. Is mijn zondag vandaag? Ah, ik heb vergeet. Het is die dag wat die pakje kwam. How many times do you have to tell you it's a train, Dr. Jesse? Not a bus or a cruiser. It's a train, not a cruiser. I'm sorry, Miss Sammy. Alle nazi's, jelle moedi aradi. Alle nazi's, jelle moedi aradi. Did Leonie tell you that that's what she was like when she was younger? Well, like singing? Yes, you must just ask her. Okay, I will ask her. Rejoice in the Lord. Let's sing praises to the Lord. Time to rejoice. Yesterday, I received the development aid money for our town. Now, I can make sure that everybody has water and electricity. And we can now show our kind European donors that we no longer need the, the help with these uh, international doctors in our villages. Our children can travel, see the world. Now, we can have our own people like Tata Basi again. Tata Basi is out. Semi, don't be disrespectful. Sorry, Mom. Dr. Jessie smells much better. She certainly does. It is also at this time that I will teach our young people to uh, to defend our villages, shoot with a gun, become soldiers of God's army. We know that war, Joseph. Can I be a soldier, Leonie? No! No granddaughter of mine will join in this silliness. You're not a soldier, Sammy. You say me. Our young people don't need to be soldiers, Joseph. Take that money you're getting. Repair the windows and the doors on the old school building there. Buy more books. Pay a new teacher. Get the kids' education better. Let them be their own people. That's what you always say, Mama. Because you don't, you don't understand. I want to see the world, Mama. Daddy is organizing for us girls to leave here, travel. And what are you doing? Telling us to get an education. For what? So we can hang around this town or the next one, and then what? Chrissy, this woman gave birth to me. Show some respect. You guys have always been against Daddy. Chrissy, no, no, let me go. Enough, Lily. You've said enough. Joseph! This is the house of God. 
respect. Hey! Capeste! I didn't do anything, I helped. I brought Rona to a hospital, so... And where are her parents? I mean, how can they let this happen? No, 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 Jess, please. You can't tell her parents. They will send her to her aunt in Namibia. And her aunt is insanely religious. Your friend in there got an illegal abortion in Berlin. She will have much more to worry about in this country if she doesn't say who did this to her. I mean, why didn't you go to a specialist? Other girls went to the sky. She's, she's not the first. Miriam, this is serious. Ronya nearly bled to death. And not talking to anyone won't keep social services and foreign affairs away from her and her family. Or do you want to talk to them? Did you phone Leonie? What did she say? Maybe she knows how to handle this. Leo has a lot to do right now. And she's not picking up. Is everything okay with the two of you? What did you do now? In there. Who are you?
Joseph! What the hell? What was that all about? Seven years ago, on this day, her daughter died. It's seven years already? Mm. Whoa. It feels like a few months ago, when you suddenly found me from a bush town in Namibia. <laughs> After six months, no news. After you've met... Where was it again? At school. Oh, come on, Miriam. I've told you this before. Okay. It was the second day after I've started working there, very nervous about a new job. We were busy getting ready for the day when suddenly I had this adorable little girl next to me. She was really sweet. I mean, she had that curly hair. And then, actually, what happened next? I wasn't expecting to see you back so soon. Don't look so worried. We're just here to see the new doctor from Europe. I forgot to ask. Where is it? Sorry, Dr. Jesse? Leone. Leone, Dr. Jesse. Leone. You have a sweet little girl here. Sammy? No, Sammy's not my daughter. Her mom was my best friend. I'm 11 years old. Chris is 14. That's her daughter. Mary, can you show Sammy our new clinic? Sure. Come, Sammy. I'm sure she will like it. Mary, the box. Oh, thank you. Looks like a broken rib. What happened? I fell. Where? At home. That went on way too long. Give me a second. Leo! Everything okay? I'm sorry. I, I can't do this today. No, no. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have asked you. She and her girlfriend made a very bad choice. Not because you failed. Hmm? Chrissy was killed in an accident. Not because you were a bad mother. And the girl in there, Ronya, you can help her. But not today. Hey. Not today, Leo, okay? I don't like funerals. You have to go back there, you know? I know. When will people in this town realize they can't keep quiet forever, pretending that everything is fine? Everybody here knows Joseph has no intention of using their development aid money to improve the living conditions in this town. He's keeping it for him and his buddies in the government. 
Joseph will never give up this idea of his to start his own army, even though he told everybody so. People might surprise you. In this town? Come on. <laughs> Time to go. You have to finish something. Do you have time before you have to go back to work? Whatever you want. I'm with you. Well, um, you have finally decided to come to my office. Are you here to give a statement about the girl? Shana. Her name was Shana. Yes, I'm here to tell you about her. 